Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to teach you how to solve matrices using an online calculator. So the online calculator that we're going to be using is at this link right here. So I highly encourage you to go to this link, pull up the calculator, and follow along as we're going through this. Right? Now, a note about being able to use this online calculator. So first off, you can use it to check your work. And you can use it whenever we have application problems. Right? So for application problems, you can use the online calculator to solve the matrix. However, if we say to solve a matrix using Gauss-Jordan elimination, or if we say to solve a system using any other method such as graphing, substitution, elimination, you cannot just put this in a calculator. We expect to see every single step of how you get to your answer. All right now another look, quick note you can also do this on a ti-83 or a ti-84 plus or regular ti-84 for that matter um, however it is a few more steps and everything like that so for simplicity i'm just going to show everybody this online calculator all right so let's go ahead and get into it so for example one we have this system. Now, if we're going to solve this using a matrix, the first thing we have to do is to make it a matrix. Right? So we make the augments in matrix just pulling all of the coefficients. There we go. Now we're already ready to solve. Okay? So, we're going to go to this Desmos online calculator and we're going to put in our matrix. So, we go up to new matrix, click that, then we need to say how many rows and how many columns. So in our case it's two rows, three columns. Right. Now we're going to put in all of our numbers. So we have negative 2. The next spot is negative 5. Then 43. 1. 4. Negative 32. And then we're going to hit enter at the bottom right. All right, so that gives us our matrix. In order to solve it, all we actually need to do is at the bottom left hit RREF, and then we need to tell it what it wants to do this to. All right, so RREF stands for reduced row echelon form. And if you remember, Reduced row echelon form was our goal whenever we were doing Gauss-Jordan elimination. So our matrix up there, it got called A. So we're going to put A, hit enter, and there we go. It already gave us our answer. So we're going to go back to the paper. And what it gave us was 1, 0, negative 4, 0, 1, negative 7. So if you remember, that's just our answer already. So x is negative 4, y is negative 7. Solved it for us. We are done. All right. Now, whenever you are solving it this way, we do at least want to see what your augmented matrix was, what the reduced row echelon form was. All right, so make sure you at least put those two matrices and that'll count as enough work when you can use this, which again is mainly just for application problems. 
All right, let's look at a three by three then. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and put this into an augmented matrix. So one, two, negative one, three, two, seven, negative eight, 15, three, seven, negative two, six. Let's go back to the calculator. And again, we're gonna to go to new matrix. This one has three rows four columns. And then we start putting in our numbers. So 1, 2, negative 1, 3, 2, 7, negative 8, 15, 3, 7, negative 2, 6. Hit enter. Now if you notice, it called that matrix B. All right, so when we do RREF again, we're just gonna call on matrix B this time. So type B, hit enter, and at the top right, we have our answer. So going back over to the page, the matrix it gave us, was one zero zero three zero one zero negative one zero zero one two. So our answer is three negative one two. All right, let's try one more. So again, start with our augmented matrix. So one, one, negative two, five, negative three, three, four, six, negative two, negative two, four, ten. And if we go back to the calculator, Again, we hit new matrix. It was again three by four. And we go ahead and type it in. So one, one, negative two, five, negative three, three, four, six, negative two, negative two, four, ten. I'm gonna hit enter. And notice this time it called it C. So we do R, R, E, F. And this time we want C. And then we press enter. All right. Now you'll notice this time something weird happened, right? At that bottom, we have three zeros and a one. All right, we got some fractions up top because it tried to finish off the problem anyway. But anytime we get three zeros and a one like that on the bottom, then no matter what the top was, if we go back to our page, this means we got something with zero 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 one a whole bunch of numbers up here but this was one of our special ones so this means zero equals one that would be false so that would be no solution All right, now again, don't forget, this is just to do applications or check your answer. So if you're getting no solution, make sure you show all the work to get there, all right? Because none of our applications will actually show up as no solution.
All right. And with that, that's everything you need to know to put these matrices into this online calculator. So in the next video, we're going to start on matrix applications. So look forward to that, guys. All right, see you all in the next video.